From the previous clip, you can see what I mean in terms of the dangers, although it's not like an intense danger. The worst place generally would be the metro, where a lot of Rome, Roma scams take place. And um, there, it's about being swarmed and confused. I, I've met a few people just within a couple of days that had their property taken. Usually it's cash related and not violent at all. And up here is a pretty common demonstration area. I think this might be where Parliament is. I'll try to get you a better view, though it's not really on the way of where I'm going today. But behind all of this is a very wealthy area where you wouldn't have any kind of difficulty. And while I would say the police response is really good here, at least from an outside perspective, up there, like where that hill is in the background, I walked to the top of that the other day. There, I don't think a lot of people would dare to make trouble. And when I have seen some immigrants trying to sell things over by, by Placa, which is the main tourist zone, Again, the response was very heavy, and it was all about um, getting them out of there quick before the reputation of the place was at stake. And as a rule, you're not in danger if you're inside a place, but I can tell that people are kind of on their guard. The most dangerous hour is around five or six in the morning of all times. All of these conditions, I would say, are basically not present in Istanbul. And the punishment, from what I have heard, if there's any kind of issue with, with um, tourists being directly robbed, um, the, uh, again, the repercussions are severe, but on top of that, um, I think in Turkey you're more likely to get scammed in a negotiation process, particularly in the south. That seems to be the main problem there. And what more can I say? In terms of, it, it just really depends on what you, you want to do. It, I think that Greece has a lot more significance for Western people because of the heritage. But if you're looking for spectacular sites to have a good deal, and maybe, uh, it's really hard to say, but in a lot of ways, Turkey would be more affordable and a less worrisome holiday, even though on the surface it seems more difficult. Whereas in Athens, at least, you have to be on your guard. Um, I've learned a lot about the salary situation here and what people are enduring and oh by the way this is where the massive golden dawn demonstration was the other night no trace of such a event now but um the police officers are all pretty much under 30 and apparently making 600 euros a month 
which is about 800 US dollars under the normal exchange. It's less right now. And on top of that, they're going to face pay reductions as well in the next couple of months. And who knows what more if there is a strange outcome in the election. And so, um, also, uh, I was expecting that people would be really tired of talking about the situation here or that it would be best to avoid it, etc. But I find that people never tire of it, actually. I think it's therapeutic for them to just say something right away, but no one has any clear solution as to what should be done. And I don't claim to have one either. There is Sorry, I had to stop because there's something going on behind me. Let me see if it's anything worth filming. There's kind of a panicky attitude towards everything, as you can imagine. And I get the impression that your ordinary Greek citizen really wants to look out for people as they come come along. This is... I thought I knew what it was, but I, I'm not really sure. I think this is the Heritage Museum for Greece. I think just filming the building is worthwhile. And... I can't begin to describe to you how bright the marble and limestone is here. It's blinding when you get up to the Parthenon and, and the general Acropolis complex. Let's just take a walk up. Whatever it is, it's clearly closed at this point. The hostel I'm staying at is, I think, my 65th hostel overall. And that industry is also hurting all levels of tourism. Apparently, three years ago, they had to turn away at least 20 people a day. But at this point in time, they are mm, maybe at half capacity the majority of the time. And I know that a lot of people are having to bear pay cuts there as well. I will take you to another building so this clip will inevitably run long. There are quite a few resistance, protest marks everywhere. You'll see the anonymous symbol quite frequently spray-painted onto things. And this is, I think, the socialist or very left-wing party Syriza. But I'm told that even though people prefer them to the right-wing stuff, Mm, the far left is quite endemic in its corruption as well. And people are quite disgusted by it. So there aren't really any evidence solutions on offer right now. I should tell you that as a rule, I just found out that 
on Sundays. Most of the museums are free here. And I feel kind of guilty for taking advantage of that, but I promise you that it's encouraging me to stay a day or two more and that the money will still go into the hands of people here, just not through the public institutions. Another quirk here, I highly doubt that this would be the case in Istanbul or anywhere else that I can think of, but if you are a tourist and enter the public library here, they will promptly ask you to leave after you've taken a few pictures because they only want local people to use it. And I find that kind of odd, but then I'm assuming they're answering to limitations of space and uh, the taxpayer. I can't begin to read Greek and it's about to blind me if I try to read this now. But anyway, that's the statue here. And you can see that in spite of everything, it's very tidy here. The sun continues to shine. I have no clue what's in there. I may attempt it again tomorrow. Basically, in summation, I think that it's very worthwhile to come here, as well as Istanbul. But if you're not in the mood to have kind of an alert travel experience, it's better to go to Istanbul where it's it's just more it, more prosperous right now although in raw numbers it's probably about the same and I think that now is a good time to travel there is another youtuber that I recommend Cyrus 992 that channel and he has also said that now is the time to travel before... Not necessarily that something horrible will happen, but you might as well take advantage of relative stability while institutions and infrastructure are still intact in case something should happen. I feel very grateful to be able to be over here and meet with some business partners that I've only dealt with remotely over the years, or mainly the last year. And if you do have the money to go around, don't be excessive in your spending and stuff. But. Put everybody in a good mood and and share what you know and ask lots of questions of others as well. Anyway, thanks for watching.